Now we don't actually have um, much money to afford to uh, buy anything, and there's nothing I really want to explore on here. So I'm just gonna heal up, and then we'll go to Tanline Island. I'm an idiot. I forgot about heart squids. According to the map, this is Tanline Island. It's hot! Don't let the immense heat distract you. There's a den of evil here. Find it and destroy it without delay. I'll go and have a look-see. You just leave everything to me. And if you feel cursed, lie back and put a damp towel over your forehead. Where does she get the energy to be so disgustingly happy all the time? Now that I read that dialogue back, the idea of put a damp towel on your head is kind of funny. This area, I do feel like, has some very good enemy design. And I feel like it uh, is not not this. That guy obviously isn't very interesting. But uh, the rest of the, some of the other enemies that come in are pretty um, cool looking. Not really sure what's with the uh, Aladdin guys sounding like women, but... Yeah. I do feel like the, these little cactus dudes are a little bit hard to deal with sometimes just because you don't see them coming and next thing you know you're getting hurt and you're like, why am I getting hurt? Uh, they're just small and you can run over them and that's basically what I'm complaining about. But these guys right here, this is some some bird archer shit, which is a very common thing, kind of like harpy lady. That's what it gives me uh, vibes about. So this is a pretty cool enemy, but this isn't even what I was referring to. The the coolest one is right up here. The goddamn Scorpion Queen. Like, what the fuck? This is the coolest thing ever. Like, This is a cool enemy. I like that design. Like, pay that man. Um, right down here, if I recall correctly... Yeah, we can't do this yet. We need another ability. But Tanline Island has me a little bit concerned because basically it has two dungeons. Right now we're only about an hour in, so I feel like maybe I can handle it. But I guess it just depends on how quickly these the areas go through. But yeah, this is not a short island. This is, I would argue, the longest one out of all of them. The little floating alien squids aren't all that special, but it is what it is. But, um, yeah, I can't do anything about that. Gotta wait on that. Kill him. Kitty's demanding all of the attention. Music's good. As is always. It's got, like, this weird sing-along kind of vibe to it that I can't quite put my finger on. Hi. Hey, Squid Baron, what do you got? Uh, what are you doing here, of all places? My vacation. It's ruined. Oh right. I came here expecting to relax in the su uh, relax in the surf, to feel the ocean breeze on my face, and watch feigned disinterest as nearby beach bunnies apply copious handfuls of sunscreen to each other's bodies in order to be practical and sun safe. From UV rays. Okay. But I didn't know this... This is off-season. The only sights at this time of the year. The elders being scorpion folk. I give up. I'll be purchasing a lavish home nearby with amazing square footage and gravel landscaping at this rate. I won't let you do that. Buck up. There's still something amazing out there waiting for you. Something cliche like a lonely lady squid. Maybe you're right. If I'm not going to stick around, then here, take these x-ray specs. I won't be needing them, apparently. Use them to see through things, if it pleases you. Oh my god, it's getting hard to video game and kitty cat. Alright, so I don't believe we need to, but I do want to go as far as we... Yeah, we can't go this way anyway. Stop interrupting me. I'm pretty sure that's what they all say. And then you... Yeah, once I'm removed. It's gonna take me forever at this rate. 
Our ancestors on Saliva Island never had it so rough. I guess that's supposed to be a hint. But, um, if you walked back, you could have figured that one out yourself. Okay. Now, the X-ray specs isn't in... Oh, hi, friend. Entirely obvious what you need to do. As is a lot of the game. But, you see stuff like this. A Geo cheer. Tiny message reads, What a find! Taking the old mummy to the daughter. Science guy's dad in the state of today? What in the world? Okay, so that isn't what I thought it was. You don't actually need the X-ray specs for that. That is still a hint. Do you need to go there? And then I said Saliva Island, and I believe the other one's here. On Tanline Island. That's basically what I mean, is it's like, don't run out because you're still gonna need to come here anyway. This is what you need. These glasses, I can see right through something is carved here. It's a design of some sort. I'll make a quick sketch just so I don't forget. Shantae has better drawing skills than I would because I would just write words instead because I can't draw. I want to keep fighting these stupid fucks, but I also don't because I don't want to die. But, like, they're giving me stuff like this. So it's hard to, like, be mad. Just like shoot you and pike you, effectively killing you both at the same time. Answer Pierce, yes. 20! Or maybe it could be 16, 17, 18, or 19. It could be any of them, really. But what is nice about, um, I guess, this coerced backtrack from those is it gives you an opportunity to, uh, get more money and stuff like this, so this way, like, we didn't have enough for an upgrade before, but now it's putting us in a better position where we can get one, I guess. That's kind of where I was going with it. Go away. So we just got here, well, we still don't have it off. We just got here and there's not shit we can do, let's piss off. Don't mind the rotating ball around my head. Risky boobs. I think just to play it safe, we should go to Saliva Island first. Because, um, I don't, I don't want to, like, do, I don't want to have to get all three and then just find out I gotta go back to Scuttletown anyway, so I'd rather just do Scuttletown last, if that makes any sort of sense. I hope it does. But, yeah, basically that's it. I don't know if it matters, but I don't want to take that chance. Get out of my fucking face, you stupid, annoying froggy doodad. Those are probably some of my least favorite enemies just in this game at all. They're so annoying. I, yeah, I think I'd say ironically some of the most irritating enemies are here at the beginning of the game. On this island. But I'm going to kill them because I want their goodies. And money. Both are goodies, really. The mermaids I mostly just mine because they duck, but it's whatever. Uh, I didn't see you there. But I see your grave. Alright, so here's what we need to do. Shoot, shoot, and then I think it's shoot, shoot. So... All we gotta do is make it over here. And then if we can quickly use that, we can fly all the way over here, and then happy days. Try not to run off the edge, because that's happened to me a few times, and it's annoying to have to redo it. So here's what sucks, is this is the way to go, but it's also basically... I wish I could reach you. Stop being annoying! There. Whoa, hold on, I just... Okay, hi. I didn't expect to dive into the background like that. A squid! There you go. That's the last heart squid. And I don't remember if we have all the... Cackle bats or not, because I thought it said two. I'm gonna get what I get.
Ow. Okay, you're done. Kill those fools. Oh my god, I really just hate those fucking frog guys. That's primarily wise. You never know what's gonna happen. You try and attack them and they get in your face. It's just... <sighs> just stop being annoying. and Go away. I'm, I'm suffering so much. I keep falling when I'm not trying to fall. I was playing good earlier, but... This place just brings out the worst of me, I guess. I mean, we're getting plenty of items. Can't complain with that. Yeah, I'm not, uh, dealing with this. Sorry. Okay, so this is what I mean. You don't want to get all the way down here just to find out you can't do this yet because you don't have the extra specs. Glasses that can see right through it, some carved here, it's a design of some sort. Make a sketch. And that's two of three, and the last one, as mentioned, is on... Uh, in Scuttletown. There we go. And I believe that's it. And we have enough for one upgrade. So I'm gonna cut so you don't have to keep watching me suffer. Okay, I've suffered enough. Let us go. Let's hopefully make sure we've got all the cackle bats. Yep, alright, two of two. That's what I thought. So we never need to ever go back to Saliva Island ever again. We've got the sketch. We got the heart squid, and I am about to take a goddamn bath. Are you kidding me? And we can also afford an upgrade, too. I fell, apparently. Uh, let us go ahead and get a thing of shampoo. And that's it. That's the last of it. Eight, I believe, is your max capital, and the same thing goes with the silky cream as well. So we need just 300 more to get the silky cream maxed out. And then uh, we can start working on things like the gun. Shantae, look who decided to make a surprise visit. Sky's mom, how are you? You don't have a name, you're just Sky's mom. Oh, cl on cloud nine. I thought she said, oh. When I heard that my sweet widow b bedwetting baby Bunsies found herself a handsome young man, I just had to come and meet him. Oh, look at his fun hat. Pleasure, ma'am. You're quite a gal here got quite a gal here. You and Joe? I caught him removing one of my bird's nests and we got to talking over coffee. And, well, I guess we hit it off. She about broke my arm being cause of the bird I done touched. Soon there will be the sounds of wedding bells and piles of crying grandbabies. Mom! Show over, kids. Heavy load incoming. Sky's dad, who also doesn't have a name. Ouch, there goes the back. Hope I hold out long enough to see these two lovebirds tie the knot before I croak. Oh, daddy. This is the guy? Sir. What you do for a living, Joe? I tear down schools and what converts them into long-range cannons. I don't work. My daughter could do a lot worse. Daddy! Also, she smells like the barn I was raised in. Hold up now. Look at you, daughter. I swear you were in diapers and pigtails yesterday. I have the marshmallow spread, girl. You've gone plump as a partridge. Honey, don't embarrass our little girl. She's just puffing up to attract a mate. Oh, I think it's working. Bah. Have a look at this now. Brought you guys a genuine artifact from a lost world. You can use it to spruce up the place. Give us some culture. I can decorate on my own, thanks. What do you think of it, Joe? I have to get real close to read it. It's got a message wrote on it. It says her... Death to them what reads it. Huh, feel fit unnatural. Daddy, what did you do? Jiminy, 
Who'd think this something this old could still pack a wallop? Chantel, looks like your old Uncle Mimic was right again. He always says evil curses stay fresh with age. Man's the better relic hunter any day of the week. Can we please not discuss your work right now? You always do this, Daddy! You want me to be single forever! There, there, don't fuss. Your friend here will fix it. I will? I love that scene just because, like, the, the subtext of you always do this is funny because it's like, <laughs> you killed him! I should be able to figure out the design. Each shape represents an animal, and they're arranged in a specific pattern. Which means combination at Temple Door is... Bird, Lion, Gator. This is randomized, so you do have to do it. Now what am I supposed to do with this? Another boyfriend down the drain. Yeah, something like that. Um, I don't know. I just I really like that scene. That's just a funny scene. Now we can go back here, and we'll cut ahead to where that area is. 